Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about organization and how I became organized and stay organized. I used to be a pretty chaotic disaster. My room was extremely messy. I had a lot of clutter. I was like a low-key hoarder. I have pictures of that. I have shared my my journey from that point in other videos. I was also just a child with a very messy room and bad at like timekeeping and scheduling and management and turning things in on time, getting done what I needed to get done and staying organized. And then I think it was around maybe junior or senior year in high school, like a switch just flipped, I was able to start cleaning my act up. So I've got five tips for you today. This of course is not everything that I could say about this topic or maybe not necessarily what you need, but here are five things. Hopefully they're helpful in some capacity. Number one, I always talk about it, but minimizing, minimizing your belongings. Clearing the clutter out of your house legitimately helps clear the clutter out of your mind. Keeping things simple in your atmosphere, keeping things simple in like your routines and to-do lists, like really minimizing all factors of your life. So there's only so many things that you have to focus on, only so many things that you have to do. It makes them a lot easier to get done. And if being physically organized, like being uh, sort of clean and clutter free, like everything, having a home and if that's something that you want to tackle, definitely having less things is going to help with that because you'll have less things to put away inherently. Number two is going to be record keeping. I have written down everything that I needed to do every single day for almost 10 years now. Um, I always have a little journal like this. Right now I have a bullet journal. I did use planners for a long time. Those are great, just the store-bought ones. But uh, I felt with this, I have a little more freedom. I can really cater to what I want because it has been so long that I've been using planners that I kind of know what I'm looking for, so I can just make it myself. I will make a future video about how I set up my bullet journal and all that good stuff. But just keeping to-do lists and knowing when you did stuff in the past and when you need to do it again. Maybe you have to service your vehicle ever so often. You have to clean something out ever so often. You have to... Um, go to the doctor every so often and just making sure you know when you did those things last is going to help you do it in the future. Making sure that everything is detailed and kept in one place is very helpful. And then something that ties into that for number three is goal setting. So again, a nice to-do list for the day, maybe to-do list for the month as well. Writing out stuff that you want to accomplish. I would say keep, keep it simple in the beginning. Um, keep goals very attainable. I've said this before in other videos, but if you have something that you want to do or a list of something that you want to do, pick what is easiest and quickest first. Um, some people, I've heard, advise against that because it gives you some sort of false sense of accomplishment, but I don't think there's anything wrong with that because it's still a sense of accomplishment that can lead you to do more things. I don't think that that's a bad thing at all. So I would say have a series of goals, um, something that you could accomplish on that same day, maybe in that same moment, and then a little bit wider, like a month or six month style goal, and then a year maybe, maybe 10 years. Like farther out you plan, the more likely you are to align your current actions with achieving that goal. So if you're looking at every day in five years, you wanna be doing X, Y, and Z, then what can you do today that can get you there and write that goal down as well. All right, my next tip, tip number four, is gonna be setting yourself a good routine. This is definitely what has helped me the most become organized, become better at time management, it's made me very good at keeping my space clean, getting to the gym when I need to, giving my life structure been super, super, super helpful. I have a pretty solid morning routine I've been doing for a long time. It doesn't vary very much throughout the year. Getting up early, getting stuff done right away so that I have the rest of the day to myself has been very, very helpful. Um, I have a list, maybe not always written down, um, because it's just so ingrained in me like to wake up and go out, clean the house, clean myself up, get started on my work for the day. I also want to make a video about my morning routine as well, but having something like that where you wake up and you know exactly what you're gonna do to get you to where you need to go, I think is super duper helpful. And tip number five is gonna be commitment. Of course, with anything, if you wanna get good at it, you gotta keep doing it. If you want to see results, you need to be consistent, you need to be committed, and you can't just give up when it becomes more difficult for you. But alongside that, you gotta go easy on yourself. Like, don't beat yourself up if you're not perfect about something, if you miss your routine, if you can't get this done, if things just become kind of hectic and overwhelming, because 
you will get there eventually if you keep working on it, but if you beat yourself up and quit, then obviously you're not gonna get anywhere. I would say just try at least a little, five minutes, 10 minutes, one task to get done that's gonna bring you closer to your goal. I know some people don't thrive on structure, but I definitely do, so there's gotta be more people out there Please let me know if these tips are helpful to you. As always, please check out the links in the description. There's information on my Patreon as well as my other social media sites. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.